before the video starts, Future Artie is here for an important announcement. Marty and I recorded this video a while back, but for some reason when we recorded our commentary, Audacity decided to record it using my laptop's built-in microphone rather than my Blue Yeti microphone. As a result, the commentary for this video in particular is going to be extremely poor quality, the likes of which has not been heard since my very first Let's Play when I had to use a cheap $10 microphone that I basically had to have in my mouth all the time. So... Yeah, just bear with me on this one. The our Marty and I's commentary is going to be extremely poor quality for this video. Only this video, the others were unaffected, but it's just heads up. And because it was a blind let's play, there was nothing I could do to re-record it or fix it. So, I'm sorry, but trust me, I'm far more upset about it than you are. Anyhow, on to the video. This game is T and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! I'm Gus. Welcome back to the Ace Attorney Investigations show, uh, where we voice okay. the guard in weird ways. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> we are on the imprisoned turnabout, end part one. Oh, five. <laughs> so I, we're probably halfway through the case then. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's continue. Oh yeah, you were predicting it's going to be Brandy Swirling Part yeah, 2. Yeah, Brandy Swirling Part 2. March 28th, 3.02 p.m., Detention Center Visitor's Room. And now I have to remember what voice I gave Simon. He sounded like the guy who, uh, the, the Damask bro, dude. No, like I, no, I gave him a different voice than that. Oh, it sounded similar. I'm trying to, I just have to remember how to make the whining tones of it. Well, that's fine. Why did you not mention that beforehand? <laughs> no, but I did! Uh, what didn't I mention? That you're a member of the very big circus? No, it's just that, you know, I'm not. I can't call myself a member yet. I'm just a new recruit. Regardless, that still makes you a member. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> so, why didn't you tell us that before? If I told you that I was part of the circus, it would have made me look suspicious, right? Since I also knew Nightly and all that, I didn't want to think anyone would believe what I had to say. Not even you guys, Kay. See, that makes it even more suspicious, though. <laughs> didn't we promise to believe in you? But, Mr. Edgeworth, you're just kind of scary. Man, you're just terrible at getting info from people, aren't you, Miles? <laughs> hmm, that's none of your concern. Looks like we need to have a talk with him again. So, um, what did you do in the circus, Simon? I guess you could say I'm a wild animal tamer. Oh, I'm still just uh -huh. an apprentice, though. Wow, that's incredible. So you command lions and tigers to do your bidding, right? No, nah, nothing crazy like that. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. My partner is this little guy right here. Oh, boy, Money the Monkey. And that makes you a wild animal tamer? Oh, the monkey on top of the rocks. No, no, not the same monkey. Not the same? Not the same monkey. Okay. The one on the rocks was like a red-faced baboon. Oh, well, okay. So Regina's training him. That's going pretty swell, I bet. <laughs> He's more like an organ grinder than a wild animal tamer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, money! Cut that out! He can be quite a handful sometimes. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like Ratatouille! It's Ratatouille. It's Ratatouille. <laughs> I thought organ grinders controlled their monkeys, not the other way around. <laughs> monkey, money's so cute there. He's so cute in this, but man, remember when he took our uh, attorney bust? badge? <laughs> and Max's bust. In the, that's the best part of the anime, honestly, is when Phoenix versus the monkey in that scene. I'm just saying. I've seen part of the anime. I did not like it. Okay, but you, you, that part's really funny in English, where he's just like... Because you know how you have the three different options? Yeah. He basically does all three of them, and then finally ends up winning with the, like, become the monkey. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Yesterday, you told us you were just a regular employee, correct? <laughs> Even if I'm a member of the circus, I'm still legally an employee. We're just like any regular company. The Rainwriter's the, the boss, and I'm just a grunt. Oh, money looked so sad there. Oh, I didn't see. <laughs> I even have a supervisor. She's the head of the Wild Animal Tamer Division. The Wild Animal Tamer Division. No matter what kind of fierce creature, they all immediately follow her every command. <laughs> hey, 
She might even be able to get a handle on Miles here. Ooh! I am not a wild animal. Did you and your supervisor take part in the animal show here at the prison? Yeah, it was just us two. It was only a small operation this time around. Basically, my supervisor takes center stage, and I take care of all the dirty work. Well, I did have a tiny part in the performance. Yeah, look at how sad money is. <laughs> so there are only two members of the circus that are related to this case. No mo. So can you tell me about your movements around the prison? Okay. I went to meet Knightley two days ago around noon. And that's when you gave him the chessboard? That's right. And then that night I started setting up the stage in the courtyard. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> it's so heavy! <laughs> it was pretty tough going back and forth moving all the crates by myself. You think Regina's gonna be any better, though? I left everything in workroom A, I think. Just temporary storage. Workroom A. That's where the body was discovered. Didn't your supervisor help you at all? No way! I can't let her do anything like that! That's my job! After I got everything ready, we started rehearsing. Then when we left, it was almost midnight. The show was set to start at 8 a.m. the next day and go on until 10 a.m. The only one who went in and out of where the body was found was Mr. Keys. And then the body was found just before the show ended. Do you happen to know why you were arrested? Look, money's also hiding there. <laughs> it's weird how it happened so fast. I don't think the pest guy could have just rested you on a whim. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him, though. Well, maybe it's because of that. When I was moving the crates, I decided to go check up on him. You know, nightly. Y you went directly into the detention block? Did you have permission? No, I had to sneak in. It wasn't a formal visit or anything. Oh, stupid. Didn't you already see him two days ago? Why would you go and do such a thing? Well, we're the only friends either of us have had since childhood. We're all five psychological. He was the same as me. We never had real families. I just wanted to talk with him for a bit. So I went to see him. Hmm? You didn't have a family? Um, when I was younger, I lost the only family I had. My father. Ooh. So is that it? I know all too well how it feels to lose your father at a young age. So, you're the same as Mr. Edgeworth. So it was just the two of you talking at that time? Yes. After the ever cells were empty and things, and there weren't any ever guards nearby either. I could have told them tell them how weird their voices are. <laughs> <laughs> they do have weird voices. But then you got found out, and that's why they suspected you. What? What? Did I do something really bad? Something must have happened while Mr. Keys and Knightley were alone. That's probably DeBest's logic. It seems that we'll need to talk with your supervisor as well. She should be here today too. Probably in the courtyard. Oh, I'm sorry it turned out like this, boss. Simon, if there's anything we can do to help, just tell us. What? What? But... I can't do anything in return. Don't you worry about that. We're your allies. That's because we're like birds of a feather. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Birds of a feather, huh? I suppose that's true. We have sufficient information about your past. I doubt you had a motive to kill Knightley. Rather, you are probably the most affected by his death. And I doubt someone as timid as you could work up the courage to murder someone. All right, I'll get you out of here. We'll believe in you. Well, what do we have here? Starting to get a hang of the whole defense attorney gig? You sounded a bit like your old man just now. Hmm, me? Sound like my father. Heck yeah. <laughs> he would say the defense attorney's job is to be an ally to the deserted. If you're going to ride that stallion into the sunrise, wait for me. I want him to. Mr. Shields? I think you mean sunset. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> it was just a joke. Want some candy? <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, I don't like sweets. That's gonna be important. Something. 
Oh, really? What a shame. What kind of person doesn't like sweets? Fair I've, people. I've never met anyone who doesn't like chocolate. Really? I literally knew a girl in third grade who's like, I hate chocolate. And like, girl, people bullied her over it. I'm like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure that she's been possessed by a demon. I mean, <laughs> maybe that, maybe. But like, that gives people no right to bully her over no, it. No, absolutely not. What's wrong with Sunrise? The legendary Yadagarasu is all about the sun. Since the sunlight always exposes the truth. Good grief. For now, let's just head to the prison courtyard and see what we can find there. Open. Yes, it looks like that way leads to the courtyard. So what are we waiting for? Come on, let's get a move on! Hmm, <laughs> she's certainly in high spirits. I like how Ray walks with his hands in his pockets. March 28th, 3.37 p.m., prison courtyard. Why does this look like uh, when Kay set fire to the building? I'm sorry, she didn't do that. But. <laughs> no, that was uh, Sheena. Sheena, but oh, Sheena, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, that was the Vasquez voice. Was, no, it wasn't. Vasquez, very little. So this is the courtyard. Sheena is like my really weird, like, mm, but not like. But not really. But not really. <laughs> just before the body was discovered, the animal show was held here. It looks like just a carnival. Man, I bet it was a lot of fun. Prisoners were gathered here when the body was found. So that means whoever saw the show has an alibi. How does. Wait. Four plans updated again. This doesn't make any sense with the floor plans, how it works out. You should pull them up. Because you walk through, so it's like doop a doop a doo, passageway, cells, you go to the upper right, and then you appear here. No, it probably Unless takes you upstairs. Unless the blue is on top of the purple. What purple? That color, not purple. You mean gray? It's not gray. That is gray. Okay, it's gray down there, it's not This gray is the there. way it is actually okay, colored. Okay, looking at this. If the blue is on top of the gray, so the that cells works. are here. You oh, there's more. Yeah, you see, you like take yeah, the stairs so you up take like the that. stairs and then you go and then around. It's over. Okay, okay. So the, like the prison's below the courtyard. Okay, that makes more sense. Sorry. We should start by checking the area for. Yeek! Kay. Got it out, you. Help me, is Mr. Edgeworth. Y you there? Stop right this instant! <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Someone, anyone, help! Down, Keese, down! Estique. Estique. Keese? <laughs> That's the enemy from Ocarina of Time. Keese! <laughs> Keith, <laughs> darn it, change your name. That has to be her. Who are... There she is. Looks like you found a new playmate. Good for you, Estique. It wasn't playing around, it was about to eat me. Huh? No way, that's impossible. This child doesn't bite. Often. Often, huh? People normally never get to play with an elephant up close. Isn't it wonderful? No, it's not. It's wonderful, right? It was simply marvelous, little lady. M Mr. Shields? Really? Oh, that makes me so happy. So how about a hug? As thanks. <laughs> hey, hey, watch where you swing that thing. Weren't you taught not to hit people with your trunk? <laughs> it looks like a Steak's friends with everyone. I am an assistant of this defense attorney. My name is Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> Because it said, as I was like, I am an ass. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Regina Ferry. Nice to meet you. I'm the great thief and defense attorney's assistant. Assistant. Hey, Faraday. That's a rather complicated job title. And the one playing with the Mr. Elephants, the defense attorney, Mr. Ray Shields. It's not Mr. Elephant, it's Estique, the fantastic Asian elephant. You're incredible, Regina. 
You make a stink stop right away! Well, I'm a wild animal tamer after all. <laughs> What's with that pose? <laughs> really? Then you must be Simon's supervisor. How old is she now? I think 17. That's it? That's all that's passed in time? Oh, we don't even have her profile yet. We got Lane Z's profile. Lane Z. He appeared for two seconds. Yep, I'm the head of the Berry Big Circus Wild Animal Division. The one and only Regina Berry. Wild Animal Tamer Division. She's not a wild animal. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Ace Attorney Ray Shields. <laughs> it looks like he's the one she has a handle on. Hmm. Yep, she's perfect. What are you mumbling about, Kay? Look at her! She's energetic, fun-loving, and healthy. She could be the new member of the Yadagarasu. She'd be perfect as a great thief! A great thief? That sounds like fun! We can make a huge ruckus with the animals! Oh, you can't make a ruckus! A great thief is supposed to be quiet and sneaky-like. But the show needs to have a flash! Being quiet is... kind of boring. Aw, I guess she's not very thief-like after all. I'm a UK. You dress in, like, bright pink? Have a weird hairdo, like... You're supposed to dress in all black, right? Uh, if you're a thief, maybe. It seems there has been a breakdown in negotiations. Alright, let's get started. Mr. Edgeworth, let's check out anything that looks suspicious. We'll even look through the barbed wire if we have to. Yes, we need to gather more information about the case. We should also try talking with anyone connected to the case. Uh, let's talk to Kay. Oh, yeah, before we forget. Yeah, what's up? Aw, man, it's such a shame. What is? I should have joined the circus. I just know my amazing rope escapes would have received standing ovations. Not too late, Kay. Give, up the, totally, give up the thief life and become totally a circus become performer. A circus performer. And be in the next La Nuba. La Nuba! Oh, with a B. Yeah. I thought it was like, it's the Nuva. <laughs> no, it's not La Nuba. La Although Nuba. now it's a new show, Drawn to Life. Like the video game. But it's, uh, it's oh. like, it's oh. like, um... You'll be in the next Cirque show. Okay. I think it's like, um... Think... <laughs> okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, um, I can't think of the name right now. Fantasmic? Not Fantasmic. Oh, that was a Fantasia? Oh, I love Fantasia. I think it's more like that, where they have, like, animation type stuff that people <laughs> Fantasmic like, was incredibly Fantasmic disappointing. Sucked. I'm sorry. If you like it's Fantasmic, good for you. We did not. We had to sit through the rain, and then it got canceled, and then we tried the next year we went to Disney, and we were like, that wasn't worth sitting through the rain for. It was pretty cool, but then it went on way too long. And there was a random Pocahontas scene in there that made no sense. And then all the Disney princesses were on the boats like, da, 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 and then Mickey comes out, and he's like, ha, ha, and, then, like, and that's the show. Ha, ha. That's the whole show. I read that. That's a shame indeed. <laughs> All that's left for me now is to solve this case. And take part in the next show! Come on, let's hurry and finish collecting information! R right Hmm, <laughs> what's the matter? The animal show. <laughs> this is nice. It feels like a dream. A circus performance can be considered an art form, I suppose. <laughs> My pounding heart. It's beating with excitement. It's not every day you get to see what goes on inside a circus tent. <laughs> exactly. Sure makes me want to give it a big hug. Hug? The circus? Having an animal show inside a place surrounded by barbed wire. It's all, it almost makes you forget that this is a prison facility. Barbed wire, huh? I'll need to inspect every last inch of this prison. We didn't see the animal show, but the stage and the equipment are still here. I should examine the remnants of the show. It could be useful to our investigation. Miles, please don't ignore your Uncle Ray like that. Ooh. <laughs> Uncle Ray's feeling faint. I've never seen such dreamy eyes. She's seven. Wait. Here's the thing that's... She's 17. 17. And here's, you're 46. Here's the thing that I'm a little concerned about as well. And this is part of also what's making me think a lot about this. On the on the screen profiles here, mm -hmm. it's like Lang Z K Edgeworth, uh, all the rules. Justine and, and uh, him. Sebastian. This guy's not on there. 
which tells me he might betray us like 80% of the way through the game. Oh, overcome oh, by oh, the sheer dread. <laughs> oh, Rez, little bit, so bad. So you think that's uh, Shimon Lane on I the left? I think so, because, well, well, maybe not. Shilon Lane's got more muscle than that guy. I mean, that guy has the same hat as Ray. That could be Ray. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see the spiky raw wolf hair. Yeah. Wolf hair. <laughs> I've never seen such dreamy eyes. She does seem to have an enchanting presence. Exactly. I feel like I must obey her. Why does every guy like her? <laughs> I wonder if she cracks a whip when she's taming animals. With those sparkling eyes, she'll say, down, boy. <laughs> if that's what you're after, I have someone in mind. <laughs> Broke me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I know. Eh? You know someone like that? You must introduce me, Miles. <laughs> She's the whip carrying demon from the prosecutor's bench. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of want to see her and have Uncle Ray meet her, and he'll be like, Ooh, Ooh. you might you might find down boy. And she's just like, You wanna hug? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guess not. <laughs> or some guys are into that, unfortunately. Head of the Wild Animal Tamer Division. Are you Mr. Keys' supervisor? That's right. Very Big Circus was created by my daddy. My daddy died in the murder incident. Your dad is... Everyone's Why is dead. everyone's dad's dead? Everyone's dad's dead, yep. But after that, our current ringmaster made the circus even bigger. The ringmaster's daddy's close friend. He's like a funny uncle. Wow, a funny uncle? That's great, Regina! That's Mo! <laughs> yep, Uncle Mo established the Wild Animal Tamer, Magic, and Ventriloquist Division. Only the Wild Animal Tamer and Ventriloquist Divisions have subordinates, though. Very Big Circus is going to become even more fabulous! Yes, yes, that sounds amazing! The way these two are carrying on, I'd hate to put a damper on things. Also, Regina, can you, like, put on some pants? That's like, I feel like that's a, just a stage costume that yeah, she wears everywhere. Like, I mean, I agree. I like modesty. Here's the but. thing. Even if, let's say I'm doing jazz. I'm doing a jazz dance. I'm in my, like, leotard. I'm going to put on some, like, sweatpants or something over that when I'm not on stage. Oh, sure. Pretty much always. Even if I'm walking around. So I'm just more like, mm, I know sweatpants kind of ruin your style, but. <laughs> Pink sweatpants. Could you tell us about the animal show? It's an amazing show. It has a storyline and everything. What's more, it's a love story. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> Very nice. Are you the heroine, Regina Pie? No, the heroine of the show is Estique. And her partner is Re Regent the Lion, or the Tiger. I keep saying Lion. Leon died. <laughs> yeah. It's about the forbidden love between an elephant and a tiger. <laughs> elephant and tiger? Forbidden love? That's right. It's what they call a love triangle. Isn't it romantic? It sounds amazing. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Heroin? Astique is a female elephant? Um, since it's a love triangle, shouldn't there be one more animal involved? Oh, it's Max! Yup, the third animal. He's the one who interferes with the love between Astique and Regent. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you think it is? Well, since it's a circus, perhaps a lion. I think a crow would be cool. <laughs> the third animal's a naughty little monkey. The scale suddenly got smaller. Ah, Muddy the monkey. Nope, the one who plays the role of the monkey is Simon. What? <laughs> Poor Simon having to act like a monkey on stage. <laughs> He's, he's gotta like, pay the bills! Like, I have a small part in the show. I'm just one of I'm the villain. <laughs> no, this is literally I was about to say, I have friends like this where they were like, I'm just a small little dinky part. I'm like, you were one of the leads! Like what the heck? I just wanna be humble. <laughs> I just wanna be humble. I'm like, stop being humble. Mummy's a little too small. He's like the villain who tries to break up the love between a sneak and regent. How will a sneak and regent control their own destiny? Isn't it wonderful? I... I guess. I thought Mr. Keys just did all the grunt work. Wouldn't you feel sorry for Simon if he didn't get to perform on stage? 
I bet he has stage fright. Poor guy. Could you tell me about the preparations for the show? That's like when our brother got dragged on stage to do that one dinky little part. Yeah. It's like that. They couldn't have done that for me, though. No, they couldn't have. Simon handled everything, so I don't know that much about it. Simon insisted on it. He wanted me to focus on the show. I saw Simon doing something near the well, though. The well? If I recall, it was behind the stage. I'd better go take a look at it later. He even moved the giant cage all by himself. Simon's such a nice guy. That sounds like something Simon would do. While crying profusely. During the preparation, Simon went back and forth between the workroom and the courtyard. We were using the workroom to store our equipment. Only Simon entered that room, so I don't know anything about it. The workroom? Was it the one where we found the dead body? So, Simon was the only one who entered workroom A? Man, the bad news just keeps on coming. Mr. Lawyer, please promise me you'll help Simon. Don't worry, despite his looks, Mr. Edgeworth's really amazing. Despite my looks? And just what is wrong with the way I look? Nothing, Edgeworth. You're a rock star. You're beautiful, Edgeworth. Danger! High voltage! Oh, yeah, you see those everywhere on the test track ride. As well as uh, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park? River Adventure? Like the actual movie. Oh, that's true. Yeah, danger, <laughs> high voltage. Well, I didn't ever finish the movie, remember? Because I went to take a shower, and so then I was... Oh, wait, were you there for that? Yeah. Yeah, and then there was just like, I just imagine taking a shower and trying to enjoy yourself, and then there's just loud dinosaur sounds around you because, like, your brother turns up the volume super loud. Not Artie, because Artie's great. Our other brother did that. He's not great. No, He's I'm great. Kidding. I'm kidding. These he signs is. really do exist. On the other side, you can see what appears to be the detention center's gar garden. It's just as Warden Roland said. You can see the garden from her office. If it weren't for this barbed wire, we could take a look at the garden on the other side. That is Warden Roland's prized garden. I doubt she'd let us in so easily. Oh my. That has to be her. Oh yeah. Good guess. There you are, Regina darling. Ah, Miss Roland! Do you still think she's Regina's mom? <laughs> they look kind of similar. I was looking all over for you. I wanted to have a little chat with you. Well, I don't. <laughs> Ribbit! What are you doing? Don't you know? If you croak like a frog in a pond, they'll come toward you. The only things that are coming towards you are the water striders. Water striders are so cool! They're like ninjas! They glide gracefully on top of the water. I wish I could do that. What about the frogs? Nice. Could you tell me a little about this prison? Currently, this place is my pride and joy, which I like to call our home. When I first came here, this prison was in a terrible state. A terrible state? You mean the prisoners' attitudes? There are no bad children in my family. It was the environment that was terrible. That's why, after giving it a lot of thought, I enlisted the help of the animals. Oh, maybe Regina comes by and is like, Hey, how about we teach the dog not to bite people? <laughs> <laughs> I like Anubis to bite people. <laughs> too bad! Uh, too bad! <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Being together with the animals will soften up even the most hardened criminals. Right now, everyone has returned to their most honest self. Just take a look at Frankie. He's a model prisoner. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> model prisoner who is trying to steal from a dead body. body. <laughs> what a model. There are lots of model prisoners here, but Frankie's the number one. He's a proactive with his job training and helps out with the chores. Don't the other model prisoners do job training and chores? <laughs> Don't be silly. They all do, of course. It's just that Frankie here... He has his sights set on something so different. Hmm. Something feels strange. In any case, he's a very good boy. Please get along with one another. The enchanting music! 
The prancing animals, the very big circus is fabulous. <laughs> if you come here, you can see a show once a month. Really? Then maybe I should. Was she just thinking about committing a crime? <laughs> once a month, you said. Is it always the very big circus? Of course, I'm Regina Darling's biggest fan. <laughs> Your theory is looking more and more true. <laughs> My darling Regina. She's just so fabulous. She's more like blurry with everyone. <laughs> yep. You know? Also, this I don't know what part of her it is, but part of her, I think it's her face, reminds me a little of Miss Frizzle. <laughs> It's, it's the lips. It's the lips, I think. It's yeah. the lips. I thought I thought you were gonna say part of me. I she reminds me of the chick from Howl's Moving Castle, but we were already talked yeah. about that. She's just such a cutie pie, I just could eat her up. She really likes her darling Regina. That's why I'm worried about poor little Simon. If he's found guilty, Regina darling will be heartbroken. What are they gonna get married now? Mr. Lawyer, please take care of little Simon. If there's anything I can help with, please don't hesitate to ask. Because here's the thing. Regina's mom, I remember, like... Wait, was it Mo? Who was it that was like, yeah, but Regina's mom's kind of, like, out of the picture. Like, doesn't really get along with the dad all that much. I thought she... I thought her mom died. I thought she was, like, alive, and Regina's just kind of like, hey, hey. We don't talk about it, though. Hmm. Um, or maybe... Maybe she was dead. <laughs> Miss Warden, did you know this car lost a uniform? <laughs> I'd like to hear your thoughts about this. <laughs> Very well. Come here, you. Okay, when you see like, a laugh like that, is it supposed to be like, ha ha ha, or like, <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't sound right. L let go of my hand. That's not what I wanted you to look at. Oh my, I'm sorry. How thoughtless of me. A proper greeting should begin with a hug and a kiss. Th this isn't a joke. Are you aware that there's a killer dog on the loose? What the? She just... She just turned into that Kingdom Hearts character from the second game that you fight. Do 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 you not remember him? You try to fight him and, like, you can lose the battle and it's still fine. You lose the battle, win the war. Who's the weirdo? That's, like, half the fights in that game. Kingdom you know, Hearts at 2? At the beginning, when you're uh, Roxas, and it's like, it's time to do the battle of the battles, or whatever. No, the, oh, Vivi? Vivi! You she have to beat like Vivi. Vivi. You have oh, you to beat Vivi. Oh. <laughs> She's terrifying! Hmm? Her expression changed. So did her face color. Could you tell me about this family member? You are mistaken. Those outside of my circle of love are not called family members. I see. So there are things that are outside of her control. Should we save and quit or yeah. continue? Okay, we we'll save and quit, quit now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're actually going to start looking at stuff outside in the courtyard. Oh, look what you got. Oh, <laughs> uh, Artie, do you still have this zip code? Because I really want you to attend my dinner. <laughs> Trump, <laughs> please stop emailing me. <laughs> Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. People can't see my email pop-ups, thankfully. That's okay. <laughs> so they're going to be like, what are you talking about? That's fine. It's not just up in the corner, thankfully.